Welcome to Signal and System Lecture Series. Here in this session, I'll be going to explain Final Value Theorem. Now see, Final Value Theorem that has been utilized to identify final value means at time t is equals to infinite, what is the value of signal or function. So ultimately, Final Value Theorem has been utilized to identify value at time t tends to infinite. So if you have been given with signal in time domain by f of t and in Laplace domain by f of s, then final value of f of t or f of s that can be calculated by f of infinite means at time t is equals to infinite function value that will be in Laplace domain s tends to 0 and s f of s that is how we calculate final value and in time domain limit t tends to infinite f of t so ultimately in laplace domain we can calculate that by limit s tends to 0 s f of s and in time domain we can calculate that by limit t tends to infinite f of t so this is how we can calculate final value of any signal or function now to understand this better let us have one example so it will be more clear so here i am having one example where if function is given f of s is equals to 1 divided by s s plus 1 s plus 2 question is find final value of given function So let us calculate final value of given function. Now see, this is what given in terms of S domain. So final value that will be limit S tends to 0 S into F of S where F of S is 1 by S, S plus 1, S plus 2. So if I substitute this limit S tends to 0 this s into fs is 1 by s s plus 1 s plus 2 so here this s and this s will get cancelled so you will be getting limit s tends to 0 1 by s plus 1 s plus 2 now if you substitute s is equals to 0 in this function you will be getting final value so this will be 1 divided by 0 plus 1 0 plus 2 so this is what 1 by 1 2 so it is actually 1 by 2 so final value of this function is 1 by 2 so here one thing that we need to understand for initial value s tends to infinite is there and for final value s tends to 0 is there and in function don't consider f of s only don't consider f of s alone it should be s into f of s while in case of time domain it should be f of t only so for final value time t should be going towards infinite and for final value s should be going towards zero so see this is how we can apply these formulas to calculate initial value and final value thank you so much for watching this video please give your valuable suggestions definitely based on it in future i'll make videos to sort out all those queries thank you so much for watching this video